Hello to everyone. This is um, the 13th of May of 2021, and I've entitled this study, How Can We Be One? with a question mark. And we're going to dive into this. First, we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to keep it cool and quiet inside and quiet outside. I ask you to bless my understanding, speech, and eyesight. I ask you to put me and everyone within the sound of my voice in the hedge of protection, Father. And give us such a hunger to know more of you that uh, we keep on searching, even after we've done the Bible study. Um, in Jesus' name. So, well, first off, we're going to start by reading John chapter 17, verse 24. Uh, 21 to 24 John 17 21 to 24 that they all may be one as thou father art in me and I in thee that they also may be one in us that the world may believe thou that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them that they may be one even as we are one I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them, as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory. For thou uh, lovest me before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. So, you know, like I said before in other videos, um, I read something, I'm reading, and uh, a verse pops out at me, or a thought pops out. And then I have to go research the why, the where, the what, and the how, and the who. <laughs> That's just me. Praise God for that, too. Okay, how can we be one... In Father God in Christ Jesus, only through His Holy Spirit indwelling is this possible. Okay, that's it. It's as simple as that. You can't get no more simpler. Okay, please ask Father God in Christ Jesus' name for the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues and how you know you have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. When you praise God or praise Jesus, His Holy Spirit will get excited. That's how you know. That's the evidence that you got the gift of tongues and the, and the gift of tongues when you speak you're speaking you know holy spirit speaks in an unknown language and holy remember holy spirit uh is one spirit but manifests different ways so when you're praising jesus and uh whole, and you got these words kind of things come by like, like time got like this blah, 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 you know and trying to come out of your mouth let them and let him speak often that's holy spirit holy spirit is the very nature of god himself it's his gift and we call it the gift of tongues and it's an honor and a privilege and a and a blessing to have his holy spirit living in you and to make sure that you have him okay so we're going to look at some scriptures let's look at this again on john 17 verse 21 again that they may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. We're going to look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse uh, 14. Ephesians 2, verse 14. Okay? Ephesians 2 14 hallelujah hallelujah thank you Holy Spirit Ephesians 2 14 for he is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall partition between us John 3 1 to 12 Woo, hallelujah, John 3, uh, verses 1 to 12. There was a name, uh, man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Uh, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles 
uh, that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound um, thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knoweth not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witnesses. If I have told you earthly things, and, and ye be, uh, believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's look at Acts chapter 2, verse 4. Acts Two. Hallelujah. Verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Whoo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, God bless everyone who takes the time to, um, to listen to this Bible study and to listen to this very important message from Holy Spirit. You must be born again to enter into the kingdom of God. And what he's saying is, you accept Christ as your Savior, and then you're, then you're baptized, or you could be do it all the way around, you know, that you're, you accept Christ as your Savior, and you, you um, ask for Holy Spirit and fill, and you start praising Him, and Holy Spirit comes through you, in an unlearned language, and then uh, then you get baptized. See, it, it says it different ways in in the Word. And uh, my husband and I are working on a um, uh, a series now. He's done he's done uh, one, two, and three part to the history of baptism. Please go and watch that, and keep an eye out for um, whatever other parts come up because the history of baptism is extensive. It's just like the Holy Spirit. We will never exhaust the Holy Spirit. On into eternity, we'll be learning. I mean, that's just fact, which I, I thank God for it. I wouldn't want to be stagnant. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to touch everyone that heard the study, uh, that you touch their heart. Oh, you touch their heart, Father. Give them visions and dreams of you, and then give them a vision of Jesus on the cross with the faces going ever so fast over his face. Hallelujah. Then they'll know that you had you had eternity. You had not only eternity, you had from the, the beginning of time to the end of time, everyone that would come. Oh, you are so holy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you.